What's up guys, Antoine here at DPR. We have a ton of babies hatching, especially a ton of bongo. So let's do a bongo special episode. for a little while now in our industry but honestly it's one of those genes that's pretty untapped we have only seen um, a couple of combos made uh, especially like a couple a couple of combos made with clowns so there's not a lot out there uh, bongo clowns are absolutely amazing but i wanted to go and check out bongo with a different kind of mutations because we've hatched like around 20 different bongos um babies here so it's honestly a very good time of the year to show this project and I'm super stoked about what we can do with it. So let's jump into with a single gene bungo. So I wanted to wait because I've hatched a couple of combos and it was the first time for me hatching just a single gene bungo. So here you have it guys, that's straight up bungo. This is a female. Um, so what's very interesting with the bungo, it has a very grayish coloration compared to a regular, honestly, uh, very, very different. I'll show you one right beside so we can have a good idea. So you know, regular is a little brighter. Bongo kind of seemed like a much darker gene in comparison. And if you want to look at the alien heads, they seem to be all connected into two. So they have like two little eyes over there and two, you know, they almost, they almost look like, um, you know, a tooth and its, and its root. So it's kind of a weird uh, type of alien head on the bongos. They have also sometimes a little bit of uh, an arrow going at the back of the dorsal stripe going on the head this one doesn't really have it they have a little bit of uh, they have a little dot over there some of them do have that kind of arrow going going up uh, very clean animal overall um, brown back grayish animal so that's just straight up bongo and the combinations i will show you guys so this is bongo with yellow belly added to it as well it's also pretty subtle you can really see uh, that this animal has much, br uh, much um, you know, busier pattern. And when you look at the belly, it's frankly different. Um, creates that blushing that's typical to yellow belly between the Allen heads. Uh, patterns are, break are breaking down. It's funny how, you know, there's one connected to the belly, one floating Allen head, one connected, one floating, one connected, one floating. It's actually pretty funny that it, this combo has that. Um, so bongo, bongo, yellow belly. You know, nothing crazy on this one, but wait until you put on the fire and bongo. This is a very, very reactive combination. Fire just blows up all of the Allen head on the bongo. It is honestly pretty awesome. And it creates that solid dorsal stripe that ends up almost like a freeway, freeway or highway type of look on the animal. And honestly, fire and bongo together are absolutely amazing. I'll drop a picture of um, a fire yellow belly bongo. This one was made by my friend uh, Nathan from Sundale Reptiles. Uh, and it also the baby you'll see is also Ultramel. So this is pretty cool. Um, so fire and bongo, I'll put these two back. Uh, actually, I'll just keep the bongo straight up here. So fire and bongo are very, very reactive together. Very intense gene, pretty interesting. But then, also, Bungo reacts amazingly well with Orange Dream. So this is a Orange Dream Bungo. Uh, I'll remove the fire there. So Orange Dream really creates a lot of intensity inside of the Bungo. Even though it's a dark gene, it really adds up a lot of pattern and a lot of coloration also. Uh, you know, creates this beautiful orange sides. Even the Allen heads are way more orange. And that kind of stripe patterns along the tail, which is sometimes typical to the um, the Orange Dream, but with the Bungo really adds up pretty well. Orange Dream and Bungo are absolutely nice. And I'll drop a picture now. My favorite Bungo combo ever, actually it's the, the, the very first combo that, that caught my eye onto the Bungo gene, was a Super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Cinnamon Bungo made by Aussie Boys. I think it was in 2018 or 17 or something. But that was mind blowing. So I knew I had to put my hands on some um, Orange Dream Bungo stuff and they are absolutely incredible. So right before leaving you with some Bungo adding with a single gene, I'll show you a Bungo Heteroxenthic. So Heteroxenthic being a dark gene as well. Um, 
kind of subtle again, but it really cleans out the animal, which is kind of surprising for uh, red exanthic. Uh, really nice looking sides also. You kind of still see the red exanthic and the bongo interacting together. Again, it is pretty subtle. It's not anything too crazy on their own, um, but I think it's a very good base eventually to uh, start working uh, different story directions. So now I'll show you some, uh, some bongo combinations that are breathtaking. So check that out. On that Orange Dream plus bongo uh, combinations, here's another one. So here we have um, Orange Dream, bongo, and Yellow Belly together. So already you can see that we start to have a lot more blushing. Don't want to disturb this animal too much because it just ate uh, her very first rat pup. So don't want to be too much uh, around her. And I'll show you the Bongo Orange Dream right beside so you can have a good idea what Yellow Belly actually brings. So you see the dorsal is way more opened up, a lot of blushing out there. But as you can see, you know, Yellow Belly is just a very cool gene to add into the Orange Dream. And it's a step closer towards that super Orange Dream Yellow Belly Cinnamon Bongo, which is obviously one of my end goal eventually. I think the, the day I'm going to do it is probably going to be at Clown as well. Um, but that's pretty cool. And then, oh God, I almost got bit, that animal was ready. Uh, she's in shed, unfortunately. Really wanted to have her uh, ready for the video, but she's in shed. Um, but even in shed, you can still see that she's way brighter than her siblings. Um, no, she's really, really fired up right now. There you go. You wanna show us uh, your belly, beautiful? So this is um, Odi Bongo, Odi Bongo Yellow Belly. This is when you add Enshi. So this is Orange Dream Yellow Belly Enshi Bongo. This is a female holdback of mine. And it's funny how Enshi and Bongo are interacting together and they, they kind of play. She's really targeting my hands, man. Damn, I love those hangry babies. And Enshi and Bongo are really playing like one against each other. Uh, Enshi kind of have that cleanliness and Bongo kind tends to have that busyness. And both of them, like they are messing with the Allen head so much. It's honestly very, very cool. We're gonna focus on this girl here. Um, so yeah, colorations are absolutely stellar. So focus on her end, so that way your face is towards her. Think she's gonna face you? There we go, she's striking at you now. Um, so yeah, Enshi and Bongo reacts very, very well together. Really curious to see that into Clown, so imagine ODYB and she Bongo Clown. This is one of my favorite animal um, with Bongo that I have currently uh, hatched this year. So. Continuing with Bongo and Orange Dream, my male is, my breeder male is an OD Yellow Belly Bongo, so that's the reason why I have so many um, combinations with those genes. But here's another of my favorite Orange Dream Bongo, and this is a very, very bright animal. This is Banana Orange Dream Bongo. I'm trying not to get bit while I put this one on the table. Come on, show your head. Your head is beautiful. So this is a female Banana Orange Dream Bongo. I'll put that in she girl. God ah, damn, she bit herself. Come on, girl. Okay, I'm just gonna get bit. End of the story. Or not. <laughs> okay, so banana orange dream bungo. And this is absolutely crazy. The oranges coming into that girl are insane. That head. If you wanna show us your head. So deep, deep orange, especially for bananas. Like banana, they have insane orange sometimes combined with other genes. But this banana bongo orange dream is incredible. And I'll show you uh, banana bongo yellow belly to show, you know, to compare how much orange that uh, orange dream gene is adding into this combination. So this is banana bongo. They're really shy with their head, right? So this is banana bongo yellow belly. You know, this animal is almost neon orange on some spot on the dorsal. And this one is deep, deep purple with much buzzier pattern. Uh, and it has that kind of incredible ringer on the tail and beautiful, like, this animal's not dirty. Like that's really just the, the pattern on it. Like the banana spots are just coming in little small groups. And it's kind of the same thing on this one as well. So they only had their first shed yet. They ate like three times already. Good, good eaters, sorry. And I think these two are gonna look very different as they age, but they're gonna be absolutely beautiful. This one's gonna have that deep purple coloration. This one's just gonna age like a neon orange snake. So honestly, very stoked with those two. But what I'm most curious of is actually the combination of the two. And here we have it. This is 
banana, just gonna move these away. This is banana, orange dream, yellow belly. So right now it kind of looks odd because you kind of have a bit of both, but not necessarily the best of both world. So you kind of have that more orange coloration than that straight fungal yellow belly. You have more orange from the orange dream, but you know, it's quite not there yet. But I think as this animal age, out of the three, it's probably gonna be the nicest looking one. Um, so banana, orange dream, yellow belly, funk. Pretty stoked with that. Um, you know, you, you still have that good idea of yellow belly there, busier pattern than just the banana, uh, bongo, orange dream. But you know, you kind of see that beautiful flickering of orange. You know, it's one like one scale out of two is just very, very deep orange on the dorsal over there. And it, she's just gonna get deeper and deeper in her orange coloration. There you go, you beautiful girl. Look at that purple head with kind of um, orange crown at the back and just a little orange spot on the top of the head. So honestly, very, very happy with the outcome of that clutch. They are really, really cool. Here's another bungo combination and this is bungo clown. This animal actually comes from Kevin Lowe at Dreams Come True Pythons. Uh, this is animal we're shipping for him, so it's not mine. Uh, but still, this is a very, very impressive looking animal. And Bongo and Clown interacts so well together. It really creates um, an interesting pattern on all the dorsal of the animal. Really opens it up, creates some bit of you know flakes out there. Uh, the clown teardrops are all freaked out, uh, freaked out, they're all like, you know, messed up. And it gives that beautiful deep orange head, uh, patternless head, a bit like the cinnamon clown, um, a bit like that combo works out. Um, and it really creates that, you know, back stray of pattern and then all the way up to the head and fades into a deep, deep orange head. Very, very beautiful looking animal. And can you imagine just adding like something red stripe or yellow belly or working that into the Pompeii or, or whatever. Bungo Clown is an untapped and absolutely thrilling project to work with. These animals are gonna be incredible. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go over some busier Bungo mutations. Uh, and what's better to start with than Bungo pinstripe stuff. So here we have a bungo pinstripe and this animal is also either yellow belly or asphalt. First thing I want to look at here is really the arrow at the back of the head. Um, I actually kind of looks like a middle finger <laughs> when you look at it like on this side, you know, kind of looks like a middle finger. Um, but yeah, so that little arrow is kind of typical of the bongo and they kind of have like a really, really clean head. Um, as well. So bongo and pinstripe, honestly, pretty awesome. I'll show you just a pinstripe in comparison. That's the same animal without bongo. So that is pinstripe, yellow belly or asphalt. And that's bongo, pinstripe, yellow belly or asphalt. So you can really see how bongo is actually striping the whole animal, creating a lot of busyness, um, really like insane interaction between the bongo and the pinstripe. And I think, like, imagine that as a day. Every animal, they want, all want to eat you tonight. And I don't know what, the, what have you done. Um, so I'm really, really curious to see. <laughs> was that a mice or something? <laughs> she tried to bite the bum as I'm pushing the bin away. Um, so I'm really trying to eventually work that towards a desert ghost version or a hypo version. Um, I think that contrast of the really, really busy sides and that very beautiful and clean dorsal is gonna translate very well into those color mutation, um, especially when if you manage to have that dorsal being like solid golden, that beautiful golden arrow going on the head. So bongo and pinstripe, very nice uh, interaction together. I had this girl up for sale, but uh, the more I look at her, I think I might have to keep her. Um, I have to say that to every snake. Um, and I'm gonna show you now uh, one of my favorite projects not project, but direction to go with the bongo, and it's with uh, black pastel. You'll see those babies are absolutely crazy to drop your phone. Uh, so what I'm gonna show you is a black pastel bongo yellow belly. So look at that. I don't have it without the yellow belly here, but here you have striped animal for days. 
beautiful striped along the back that broke down into you know more um, interrupted striped on the top of the animal and the sides are just so busy and so connected it's so cool to see you know that beautiful white belly and some blushing and then all those alien heads connected and they all have it all trying to have their own little you know eyes inside of the alien head that are not really um, showing all the way through and it's beautiful to see that kind of very very busy and striped interaction on an animal this is really really cool I'm really curious to see we always say it like what's it gonna look like inside a clown but that striped pattern on the side I think it's gonna translate very very well into clown and when you add orange dream on top of that you kind of clean even more of the animal but it creates those stripes that are even crazier so you can see there the connected patterns on the side that we're really trying to still see you know the allen heads now they're all obliterated they're just connected to make that beautiful stripe it almost kind of look like um interaction of like leopard and a bell complex like lesser and mojave and then you have those typical bongo um type of allen heads all jacked up connected and then you know again ending up with a beautiful stripe uh on the side of the neck is just crazy looking snake so that's the orange dream bongo yellow belly this is a male he's going to be uh replacing my um odyb bongo in the future and i think this male into clown is going to do some very cool thing i have a couple of orange dream clown females so imagine making a super od version of that and we're going to be so close to that beautiful snake i showed you at the uh, uh, beginning of the video which was one of my favorite one that super od yellow belly cinnamon bongo but with black pastel instead i really think it's going to make something very very crazy um, right before leaving you, uh, I'm going to show you, it's, it's uh, one of my breeder girl. I wanted to wait until her clutch uh, hatch, but uh, honestly, like, I had too many bongos to show right now and I'm like, damn, I have to do one right now, but I'll do a video only on that clutch because it's going to be very, very epic. Uh, so the female is a bongo Mojave that I got from Chun at the Nasty Reptiles uh, in Daytona a couple of years ago. Um, so bongo Mojave, single gene. And you'll see how well Bongo interacts with a Bell Morph. Uh, just compared to your regular Mojave, I have, I have baby Mojaves. But you can really see that the classic Allen heads of Mojaves, that kind of golden look is really, you know, completely modified by the Bongo, which creates the little tight, tight, tight um, Allen heads on all over the animal cleanliness for days beautiful sides and you kind of see it's nice to see that adult animal but that golden coloration that's trying to shine through all over the sides of the animal so this is very cool and the pairing um actually the male that i did pair with that female was a pastel orange dream puzzle so trying to introduce bungo into the puzzle and looking at how well bungo interacts with you know bell jeans like this Mojave for example um, and how well Bongo interacts with a bell jean as well I think adding Bongo into a like Mojave puzzle is going to be an insane combination I'm really really looking forward for this all right guys so that was it for uh, what we've hatched in Bongo this season might have like well we have that Bongo Mojave female clutch that's going to hatch in like you know a couple of weeks and we have probably another female that's gonna lay uh, Enchi Pastel bred to Orange Gene Yellow Belly Bungo. So more of that Enchi and Bungo interaction, I think it's gonna be pretty cool as well. It's a female that gives us like 10 years steadily every, every year. So, you know, most likely expecting a big clutch there. Uh, 10 eggs. What did I say? 10 years. 10 years, no, they, yeah, they give us 10 years every year. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> no, she gives us 10 eggs steadily every year. Um, so yeah, guys, I am absolutely thrilled about what we can do with the Bongo. Uh, that Bongo clown as well was crazy, really, really insane interaction and adding like, you know, every jeans on the Pompeii projects, so, like stripes, pop nose, black pastel, you really, honestly, it's endless, but very cool direction to take the project as well. Um, I am stoked. I don't know if you guys are, but if this video didn't make you like, Totally excited about bongos, I don't know what will. Um, you know, if you liked it, go down in the comments, let me know what was your favorite uh, bongo combination that you've seen today or somewhere else. And be sure to subscribe on 
Instagram and YouTube. I'm sweating bullets right now, but we have like four others video, four other videos to film. So you know, stay tuned, guys. Oh yeah, <laughs> close up on my uh, forehead.